Okay, this one's on this uh, Johnson Controls A19 temperature controller. Now, A419, excuse me. There's a bunch of controls that are similar to this, but different manufacturers. This is the one I had laying around, so this is the one I'm going to show. Uh, and a lot of people have trouble with this thing, trying to figure out how it works and you know what to do to make it do what you want and I'm just gonna do a little one on this and maybe I can clear up a little bit of the uh, confusion okay these things can be set to open on a rise in temperature that's a heating application or they can be set to open on a drop in temperature that's a cooling application and also change the differential that means the dead band between on and off. And so I'm going to go over some of that stuff. And Okay, now I've got the cover off this thing, and I wanted to show you these jumpers. Uh, first of all, your thermostat's hooked up there. And then we've got these jumpers over here, and that's these little black things. And you can see it says jumper 1, open, cool, short, heat. Jumper 2, open, cut in short cut out okay now remember that cut in that means it turns it on cut out means it shuts it off okay so uh we'll back up a little bit and we'll take a look at these jumpers uh, a jumper like this that's put in that position is shorted or is uh in position so to speak I guess it just is shorted but now you see those two two terminals there and this little doohickey right here hard to see uh, if it covers both of them they're shorted if it covers just one it's open so like if I put it on here like this, and if you look close, you can see that one is still there. Uh, and so that's open. And if I put it like that, it is shorted. So let's say I wanted it to uh, jumper one, and that's the top one. It's a little hard to see there. Uh, but jumper one is on top and jumper two is on the bottom. So, if I wanted to set this up for cooling, I would take the top jumper and set it to open. Okay? Now, this is going to operate in the cooling mode. Now, jumper two if it's open then the temperature uh, when this actuates actually is the cut in temperature that's when it starts okay the the difference between cut in and cut out is going to be the differential that's the dead zone so let's say uh, okay uh, we want to set this for, well, the way it's set. It's shorted, so the cut out temperature is going to be uh, the temperature that's read on the temperature probe. Okay, now let's go through this thing and see if we can set this at a set point. Now, if I hit menu, it says set point, set point, okay? And I hit it once more, it's set for 65 degrees, okay? So let's set it up so that it's a little higher than that. Let's set it to about 80. Okay, now we're going to set differential. 
Now the differential on this thing is two. That means there's two degrees between cut in and cut out. So when this thing reaches 82, actually 83 is when it comes on, it's going to cut in. It's going to cut out at 80. Because I set, originally I set the cut out uh, on the jumpers. I'm going to lower the temperature. Okay, at 80, it shut off. Now, I've got a 2 degree differential on this thing, so 82 is going to come back on. Okay, watch it through again. 80, it shut off, that's cut out. And then as it warms up again, It's back on. Okay. Okay, you notice I'm on differential. And it's two degrees. Let's set it up to three, set it to four. Okay. Now, we're going to warm this probe up. Okay, 85, it came on. Now it's going to drop down. And at 80, it shut off. Okay, you can see the differential changes. Uh, you know, that changes the amount of, uh, of supposedly dead uh, time. So uh, if the temperature is within a certain point, you don't want this thing to be constantly coming off and on. But you can adjust that. So with the adjustment I've made on the differential, the temperature, instead of going to 82, is actually going to go to 84 before it cuts in. And then it'll cut out at 80 as I had set it. If I had set the jumper for cut in, then I would have had... Uh, 80 degrees that would cut in and would cut out at 75. So the difference between these two is if I set it in cut out, that means the temperature has to rise above the set point. And if I cut, set the cut in, set it to cut in, then it has to go below the set point. Uh, if you're doing this thing in heat, you know, it's the same stuff. Uh, it's not any more complicated than that. Set your uh, jumpers where you need to set them. And just understand that, you know, what this cut out means and cut in means, this is one of the things a lot of folks have trouble with. And it's not that anybody's dumb or anything else about this. It's just kind of hard to understand. So, uh, that's the uh, A419 Johnson uh, control. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, uh, question me on it. Maybe I'll do another one.